Got a little bonus video for you guys here. I have some leftovers. I'm gonna make a chopped cheese out of them. This is a meatloaf mix. It's ground pork, ground veal, ground beef. I'm gonna use a roll that I've had for the past two videos and then just the leftover cheese whiz and some lettuce. We're gonna cook this on kind of like a flat top that I have. We're just gonna lightly oil it and make a hamburger style patty out of this meat. I'm gonna roll it around a little bit, flatten it out. Obviously meatloaf mix is not your standard chopped cheese meat, but it's gonna be delicious. There's no reason it won't be. This is not a traditional chopped cheese, so don't get all up in my business about what's wrong. I'm just trying to use leftovers here and not here and not waste. So we're gonna cook that a little bit. I'm gonna salt it. We're also gonna use some uh, pepper, garlic powder, and then a little bit of paprika. You could use whatever you want that you like. I know some people use like special herbs and special spices. If I was making a hamburger here, I would get more brown on this first side, but since we're gonna chop it up and let it brown that way, I'm just flipping it over now. And then we're going to come in and chop it up. A bench scraper works so well for chopped cheese. So if you don't have a bench scraper, definitely grab one of these. They really work better than using any sort of spatula. But we're going to come in and just, you know, chop the crap out of this thing. Speeding up for you a little bit here, but just kind of keep it moving. You want to, as you chop it, also continue to cook. I have the heat fairly medium uh, right now, but I will adjust it if I see it's either browning too quickly or too slowly. But you just want to get these nice and brown. That's the goal. At this point, I can see it is definitely cooking a little less brown than I want, so I turn the heat up a tiny bit, and just kind of fold your meat over itself. You want to brown this, you want to cook it, and you want to make it beautiful. Spread out among the surface area so all the pieces are touching the bottom, and that will really help. At this point, as your oils and juices kind of float away, use that to cook the bun a little bit. Here we are, we're getting some decent color on the meat now. We're gonna cook it a little bit longer, but we're right about where we want it. Nice chopped up into nice bite-sized bits. Standard chopped cheese, most places is ketchup and mayo. So that's what we're gonna use here. Also, I know it's ketchup from New York. I don't really say the, the words, you know, exactly how they're written. Don't hate. Now we're gonna use the cheese whiz. It's not obviously your standard chopped cheese. You would use like an American or something and lay it over and melt it. But as I said, just trying to not be wasteful. And if it's good enough for a cheesesteak, it's good enough for a chopped cheese. So just continue to fold that in and let it be beautiful. As you can see, it starts to melt real nicely like it did with the cheesesteak, but just keep moving it around. You want to, you know, very much coat it surface area wise, and it's going to look beautiful. Continue to spread it out a little bit so it does also can brown a little bit more on the bottom. The cheese and the sugars in the cheese and add the meltiness of it will get a nice crisp if you leave it on here long enough. And look at how nice that is. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to throw a little bit of lettuce down on the bottom of the hoagie roll just so it can soak up a little bit of the juices and not go right into the bun. And then just throw that cheese and meat mixture right on there. Looks delicious, man. Top it with a little extra lettuce. These buns I don't love. Obviously the, the proportions are gonna be a little bready here, but this one I did want a deli style wrap just cause I wanted to feel like I just ordered it from my bodega. Just roll it and pinch the sides. And I'm gonna cut it right down the middle and you're ready to enjoy this thing. It's super easy oh, from start to finish, just took less than 10 minutes. Very bready rolls obviously, but let's just give it a taste. It looks great, it smells great. Some people throw tomatoes on there. I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes in my chopped cheese, but that was a delicious bite. You can taste the paprika, the garlic powder, everything in there. It's just a delicious sandwich. So easy to make, and it's a great use of your leftovers. So if you have all these things at home, make yourself a chopped cheese, and enjoy. See you next time.